with you on. Let me go to the next character. This guy here, back in the day, when things were dying in London, the scene in London was kind of low. He was looking for new inspiration, his new people was to come through. When I saw this cat, fucking blew my mind. He was wearing all blue. He was moving, and I couldn't make out what the hell it was. I was like, what the fuck is this? It turned out that this, this, this little person was just a demon. A.K. Demon Smurf, Evo himself, this guy was phenomenal. He inspired a movement. It's like where Dolby left off, this guy came and he just took it to another level. He inspired so much people, he didn't even know he inspired. You know, I'm just honored and privileged that I can give this guy this award. So please, big it up for the one and only Evo, please. <laughs> I'm gonna follow Dolby D. <laughs> As you can see, I don't really dance anymore, except when I'm really drunk at uh, funerals and weddings. So, <laughs> thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. Woo! That was touching. That was touching. That guy was a monster. Trust me. You new cats out there. If you ever saw this guy dance back in the day, fuck, it's phenomenal. Buy the trust DVD! Me. Trust me. Trust me. Yes, buy the DVD. For real. <laughs> anyway, these next guys, back in my later years, I thought I was some shit hot B boy. I was in Bournemouth, I think it was, with my boy Renegade. And I thought I was the man, I was on the stage and I'm giving it. And I look to the corner and I see these guys. I think, who the hell are these guys? Still breaking? Damn, no, they can't be breaking. I'm the man. Jumped off the stage. I went to battle with these guys. These guys fucking roasted me. They roasted me. When I turned around, the man that meant to have my back was gone. Where are you, Renegade? Where are you? Oh. You ran off and left me that day. Oh. You picked up one round and you ran off and left me to get smoked. Oh. By second to none. Oh. You know, later on after that, things happened and I went missing, but I came back and these guys showed me about Battle of the Year and these guys, are, Jesus Christ, man, these guys, seriously, see these guys, they just took it to a completely different level out there. The stuff they were doing then, you people here will find hard to do now. You guys will find hard to do now. You guys can't win me like these guys. You guys got Halo. No one in here could do Turtle like, like, like my man Nick. No one's like Asa. No one's like Daryl. No one's like Tony. No. Nope. Please. Jesus Christ, the pencil fucking head spins. This man was the gun. Many a man stole that shit from him. I ain't say no names, but they know. Trust me, this crew was fucking disgusting. Me and Renegade, aka real name Kevin, me and Renegade, we went down and we brought these guys back to London. Because there's a couple of cats in London that were running off their mouth at the time about where shit hot, we the real deal, we do it all, and these guys, we brought seconds on down to London, and they smoked. They, they smoked, and so you know what? Seconds on, all you guys come down here right now. Each other, and we all still dance a bit, and yeah. you 
know, and basically, yeah, thanks a lot, brilliant. DJ Hooch from the Mighty Funkin' Pussy Sound Squad, London, since 91. Uh, organizer of the UK B-Boy Championships and part of the Armory Massive Worldwide. I'm gonna say peace out to my boy Paul Ski, Mighty Four, we're here in Leeds. It's a good look. Well, okay, I mean, you have to know kind of a time frame. Um, three years ago, just after the B-Boy Championships, um, you know, DJ Lacey passed away. I'm tragically killed in a, a car accident. And, um, yeah, he DJed at the Champs for three years and, you know, we'd become friends, you know, apart from the B-Boy Championships. We, you know, we used to, you know, speak on the phone a lot and, you know, just hang out a little bit when we were DJing and stuff. And, um, you know, it had a big impact, you know, on a personal level. And I know it had a big impact on the B-Boy scene worldwide. Um, one of the things we wanted to do was, um, was honour him in some way. And it was really tough Tim Twist from Rocksteady Crew who came up with the concept of doing something which honoured him. You know, a DJ Lacey Award, a Chief Rocker Award, which would basically honour the D the B boy who rocked to the beats hardest from the crew battles. You know, in that in that way that responded to the DJ most. You know, went out and basically was the kind of B boy that Lacey played his beats for. You know, I want to shout out um, uh, the original Funkin' Pussy Sound Squad, uh, my boy D U M P Dump, uh, Jasper the Vinyl Junkie. Uh, the Saint Sound System, that's my original peoples, Ad Funk, uh, Chimp Chiller, B-Boy Steady, Mouse, uh, Big Up to Ski, Mighty Four, my boy Cross One, obviously Crazy Legs and the whole Rocksteady crew, Fresh Jive, where we are today. Um, just basically, anyone who's doing their thing and getting busy on this hip-hop tip, just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm behind you. I'm a fan of hip-hop first and foremost, so, you know, I'm there, hopefully... This, this thing will keep building and, you know, one day we might all get rich off it. Peace. <laughs> hey, what's up, yo? What's up, Mighty Four? What's up, world? Okay, DJ Renegade, tell me, how did you get into DJing as the resident original DJ for the UK? Oh, um, I got into DJing after I stopped breaking and dancing about 1986, 1987. Um, I started scratching at first and playing breaks and stuff like that and making records and stuff. So about you, I hear that you get to travel all over the world. I'm a little bit jealous. You get to play at the biggest b-boy jams, the biggest DJing things that you can. What is it like getting to travel around and meeting so many cool people? Uh, I love it. I've been, uh, I've been traveling for a long, long time. I've been to about 40 countries now. Um, yeah, I love traveling. I love it. And especially to do, do it for free and to get a nice hotel and stuff like that. It's, it's nice. Do you have a favorite place or is it just London? Um, everywhere is my favorite place when I'm there. Haha, <laughs> he's trying not to fall out with anybody. Okay, I heard that you went to the uh, Mighty Four anniversary in San Francisco. How was that? I did. I went to uh, Mighty Four twice, actually. Um, it's a really good jam. It's got some nice, uh, nice things going on. You've got like footwork battles and top rock battles and all different parts of, of uh, b-boying are represented at the Mighty Four. It's really a good jam. Yeah. Wicked. Any last words? Anything you want to say? Uh, shout out to everybody. I mean, I meet a lot of people on the scene and uh, I get a good vibe from like 99% of them. So it's a big shout out to all of them, really. Cool. That was DJ Renegade. Thank you, DJ Renegade, for Mighty Four TV.